Hey, 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 this your girl Kiana Dancy from Sister Circle Live, and I'm rocking with Candy Kisses and my girl Michelle C. It's going down. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? All right, it's Michelle C. with Candy Kisses TV everywhere you need to be, and I am here with the one and only Kiana Dancy. Hey, 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 what's going on, Go Michelle? Ahead. Shout out to Instagram and all that stuff right now. Girl, this is Kiana Dancy and I am all things social on everything. You can follow me at Kiana Dancy. That's K-I-A-N-A-D-A-N-C-I-E. It's only one me. Literally. This is true. This is true. Now let me ask you this. So how are you liking the new gig? Well, you know, I love my new gig. It is definitely different. It's a challenge. Okay. You know, the challenge is getting up every day because as a stand-up yes. comedian, you know, there's times where I go to bed at 4 30 or 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Or matter of fact, right. maybe I don't go to bed, right? Right. But uh, under this situation, you gotta go to bed. Because you know, you gotta have bedtime. Time. No, Hello? Because yes. you're waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning to Welcome be Welcome right. to my world. You know, well, I do it Monday through Friday, baby. That is not my life. <laughs> So it's a blessing. I'm definitely excited to be in this position because I pray for it. I ask for it. And I, what I will tell people all the time, do not sleep on prayers. Because when you ask for something oh, yes. and when you get it, you best to be have ready. to be prepared for it. Yes. Though. You need to be ready. You get what you, you, what you pray for. You got to be very specific. Absolutely. Um, so with that being very specific, what is your next thing? Like, this is your first goal. What, what's, the, what's the end game? Well, you know your girl ain't going to tell everything what you're working on. But I got to work on some things. I have a comedy tour coming. You know. Okay. Uh, my book is coming. Listen, y'all, it's a lot of drama with this book, but it is coming. Uh, I'm not even going to say anything else about this book until it's okay. here. But there is a book. Um, there's a comedy tour. There's a whole lot of things in my little... You know, Mama building an empire. Oh, yeah. by brick, listen, brick by brick. I've seen you on them, um, them shows that are reality TV show. I'm sitting there watching that. What was it? Uh, Housewives of Atomic. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah. is that here? I'm like, it, it was. You know, my okay. cousin is actually Katie. So she was going to okay. be... I mean, she was a member of... She was a housewife. But gotcha, gotcha. So they were kind of entertaining and bringing me on board okay. with her but it's just not anything that she really wanted to do she's a mother and that's and she's a mother first so right. she really wanted to put her children as a priority but honey i was like i'm here for it you know what I mean? because they was coming for my girl and i was like yeah. what you need is me exactly. but I, i'll be honest with you i'm not really sure in reality in that capacity was for me either so okay. you know what what was meant for me is this where i am now i'm a tv show host on sister circle now, do you want to go on into the um, go on to like the real scripted acting or? I am an actress. I've done some things, a lot of independent projects. So mm -hmm. I will tell you, um, don't underestimate Miss Dancy, honey. There's okay. always something going on. But yes, to answer that question specifically, yes, I would like okay. to do more. Um, I would love to be the next breakout star on the next big girl movie or any movie. Oh yeah, that you know what I mean. I can see you in like a Girls Trip three or two or four. <laughs> she can do it. You know okay. what I'm saying? I can do it. Yes, yes, that's what's up. So let me ask you this. I know you've been in this thing for a minute. What what was your first gig into stand up? What, what was your first wow. gig like? Well, when I first started stand up in 2009, well, it was prior to that actually. Okay. I actually started doing stand up because I was going through a breakup. So okay. my story is I used comedy to heal me. I was in a long term relationship. I was with my ex from 19 to 29, 10 years. And when I decided to walk away from him, you know, I was so busy looking back at how much time I spent with him. I yeah. forgot to turn around and look forward at how much time I was going to waste trying to make the relationship work. Yes. Right. So when I finally broke up with him, and it, it might have been we broke up a hundred times, and then I was like, I'm going to tell my story because it was a situation where people would say, Girl, that story is so funny. And I'm like, right. Is it really? Is it really? It wasn't funny when it happened to you. Girl, <laughs> it wasn't that funny to me. You know what right. I'm saying? But what's in hindsight, when I look at it, I'm like, It was hilarious. So I okay. took that, that all that frustration, all those troubles, and all that, what I was going through, and I took it to stage. Gotcha. And I literally laugh myself whole you know what i mean so you know at a time you know we as women yes. I'm, I'm speaking to the women and i'm men i know you have your own issues but women they have a lot of issues yes women <laughs> we're, we're oftentimes broken and you're trying yeah. to figure out how do you become more you know become whole again right. and i use my god-given gift to make people laugh yes. as a, as a tool to heal and one thing one quote i do remember jamie fox said mm -hmm. he said women don't break they bend and I said, that is such a true statement because when a man gets hurt, they're broken. Oh, you know, forget all women. They're horrible. Da, da, da. A woman, you know, we'll be hurt for a little bit, but we pat ourselves like, you know what? Oh, we just, always you know. pull ourselves back together. And that's actually a great analogy and a great statement. Um, I, I, you know, I just said I was broken just because it just, it just because that right, was the way right. I was describing no, myself. Was in, your but heart even, was broken. That was it. My heart was broken. But yeah. even, even through all of that, even though I described myself in this, in the, at the time as being broken, Baby girl never gave up. I That's never right. gave up. I never stopped. And I guess I was just, I was just bent out of shape. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Like, right. Hey, it's easy to put. It's not so 
easy to put yourself back together, but it's very possible to put yourself oh, yeah. back together. Yes. That, that's the one thing that's a good thing about a woman's strength because at the end of the day, it's like we might be hurt for a little bit. But like for me, I, you know, I had a serious situation that kind of, I was like, you know what, that hurt for a little bit. But you know what, I got bigger things coming. Oh, yeah, so, we push through all yeah. the time. And every time. Back when I tell you, I pushed all the way through because I don't know what took me from not going all the way in. You know, just like, you know, I got too much to lose. Right. Because, you right. know, at any given moment, I could have just snapped and said, you know, I'm killing everybody in here. Right, that's the answer. <laughs> that was right. the answer. You had too much to lose. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what's going on um, next with you? Because I know you said you don't want to tell everything, but you got to give us a little sneak peek. So next week, I don't know when this is going to air, but next Friday, I'm actually going to be in the Baltimore, Salisbury, Maryland area. I have no okay. idea where that is. I've never been there a day in my life in the Salisbury. I didn't even know Salisbury. What comes there? State? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. But I'm gonna be there with nephew Tommy. Um, okay. Yes. Cool. So I'm gonna be with him out on that date. That's March 9th, Friday. Right. Um, I actually just did my first date for single single in the city tour, and I was in okay. Memphis at Chuckles. So there will be a lot more dates to come with that. So single in the city tour started with the fact that one, I am the single girl on the panel. Okay. Of, of Sister Circle. All the other young ladies are married. Yeah. I, and I own my singleness. You know, I'm out That's and about. True. I'm doing me. I'm, I date me. I enjoy being with me, honey. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy. I always encourage women, whether you're in a relationship or not, to spend time with you yes. and date you. And at the end of the day, if you know how you want to be treated, you won't allow anybody else to treat you less than. Right? That's right. So, you know, as a girl, I'm a single girl. So but when I say I enjoy dating me, I, I love me. But let me tell you something about dating me. <laughs> you know, in the words of my uh, a young lady named Vanessa Fraction, she talks yes. about like uh, dating her, how expensive she found out. I'm expensive, girl. Me too. I'm expensive today. Right. I'm hard to please, but I live. Listen, I'm loyal, I'm consistent, mm -hmm. I'm honest, you know what I mean? Yes. So, hey, I only need some things. To date me is, you know, my love language is very simple. Feed me, buy me things, and guess what? We go together. And quality That's time, That's and right. we go together. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. as long as he know that, we good. I think I like the quality time, but I need some gifts. Like, my love language Well, did you hear what I said? You did say buy I me some things. I said buy me some things, quality time, right. and then feed me, and guess what? We go together. So, <laughs> you cannot, it can't eliminate food or gifts, okay? Yeah. Man, gifts is my main thing. It's like you know how you always give, 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 and you be like, okay, well, where's, where's where's my stuff? Right. I give to you all day long, but what you doing for me? Oh my god, I hate that. I just like you know what? From now on, I'm I'm not giving. I, I'm a great person of the take back. Right. If I give, 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 you an Indian gift? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna take back. Like if I gave you a shirt or a sweater, I'm not gonna say give me my sweater back. Okay. But if it comes to the point where it's expected, I just stop doing it. Cause Got like it. now it's not appreciated, it's expected. Right. I'm taking that back. I I'm gonna stop and all that. I understand. I respect <laughs> that. I respect that. I respect that a lot, actually. So I'm, hey, you have to. So let me ask you this: with the whole um, putting, getting your material together, because you know, as comedy, you have to write and everything. So where does your writing come from? Oh, that's a great question. My writing comes from my everyday life. There, there's okay. never a time when I step on stage and I haven't at least ran through something I'm going through on stage. I use that as a, as a means of therapy. And yes. I actually think it's important that you maintain a sense of truth when you're on stage because the, the audience is here to, one, laugh and forget about all the things they're going through. So if you take, just like they have problems, mm -hmm. you have problems too. So I take all my problems to the stage and I leave, and I leave them there. You know what okay. I mean? So for me, my material comes from my my day to day life, my experiences, the things yes. that I'm going through. Now I will tell the guys all the time. Now listen, baby, when we date, there is a chance that me and you be going through some things, child, mm -hmm. and it might end up on stage. But guess what? I would never use your name. You know what I mean? The only right. person that ever know this will happen, this going on between you and I, it's is me and not. you. That's you know okay. what I mean? So um, I do. I utilize everything that's going on. Now, have, in my that, life. have that ever been a problem where you did it on stage? Now you didn't say their name, but then you got home and it was an argument. No. Okay, I don't good. play those games because I told you a friend. And if you're arguing <laughs> about it, you need to pack your bags and get the walk in. No, I'm just saying, I don't really, you know, I don't deal like that. Like, it, I'm real transparent and I just have the conversation. I say, you know this is going on stage, right? You know right, what I mean? Right, right. But, you know, as a single girl, I, that might be one of the reasons why I am single. You know what I okay. mean? Some of the guys may be a little intimidated by that. But, listen, at the end of the day, I'll tell you, I am honest. Mm -hmm. So, the things that I discuss on stage are honest to what actually happened and again i am respectful enough to not use your name well the next thing is we have a segment called kiss or diss Ooh. so i'm gonna throw out some names out there and you're gonna tell me whether you kiss or diss okay oh did i kiss them already no, no, no. would you like to kiss them oh or would you like to diss okay them? 
So we're gonna start with Idris Elba. Oh girl, kiss. And I'm so mad that that man is getting married to the baby girl. Now nah, that's cute for you, child. But let me tell you something. You could at least give a man an opportunity. You could at least have given me an opportunity to kiss you, Idris. Okay, whatever. Okay. Or Michael Ely. Goodbye. I like Idris. Uh -uh. What's wrong with Michael Ely? Nothing. He's just too light and bright. I prefer the dark chocolate. Wait, I mean, the but they're both soul. are. They both are kissable. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's true. But that's I would, true. girl. Yeah, a whole lick on the Idris. Go ahead. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go to the hip hop genre. Okay. Let's do Ti or what if uh, you know who I'm talking? Drake. Uh, Ti. Okay. Because I like Ti swag. Now he's a little small. He come in fun size package, but he is a little did man. You call him a fun, fun size. I did. I called okay. him. I called the man fun size. But I, that that swag. But, but you, that swag, honey. But wait, 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 about that see, swag. Did you see Drake's come up though? Like when he started pushing them no, weights. I, about that. Uh, okay. I mean, you know, Drake. He's great, but I, it's something about Ti. First of all, no, I like Ti too. I'm from the south, but not not originally. But I, I, I consider myself a southern girl, okay. and it's something about Ti swag, and it's something about his, the way he drag his words. Yes, honey, I love oh, Ti. Lick. Oh, kiss. Sorry. Oh my God. Okay. 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 We got one more. We are gonna get another, uh, another actor for you. No. Yeah, do actor. I, I okay. got one that can give you. Who? Chadwick Boseman. Or. Girl, that's it. Lick, kiss. That's it. And that's, nobody else need to be in there. Oh, uh, Michael B. Jordan, man. No, I don't like him. Like he's, they're both very, they're you? both very attractive. They are. Listen, but I, Michael B. Come he, on he now. He is gorgeous. He is gorgeous. Absolutely. But I really let me tell you something. What I like about Chad. First of all, I like the fact that he is from the South. Okay. I love that. I love the fact that he is also like the underdog. Like I like I thought he was attractive in I thought he was attractive in um in Jackie in forty two. You know what well, I mean? never been it's no. no, it's something about his mouth. I, you know, you know, I'm weird. I like guys who have beautiful perfect teeth okay and then sometimes i like when there's a like little small imperfection okay right? so he has the small imperfection i just i i love it what about that dude with okay we're not talking about him we're talking about chad okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now okay oh i don't know his name but you know what i'm talking about dude from get out what do you think about him oh no i can't i don't I like can't. him really you're just gonna start off with uh? I, I just don't, <laughs> i don't think he's so who are we comparing him to Lil real no neither one of them <laughs> First of all, Little Rose is a comedian. I don't like to date my coworkers. Hi, Little Rose. Shout out to you. I love him. But you know, Little Rose, you got a little paper now. You might be able to get it. No, but you, know, you gonna check that thing out on the road? Yeah. Little Rose is fun. He's my homeboy. You yes. know, he's doing big things. He's from the shot. Like, I love to see him. You know, his glow up is he's amazing. He's hilarious. But I, I, I would not want to date him. You know I what I mean? Like, and, Wait, and, I didn't say you had to date him. I said kiss or this. What, well, honey, when, when we kiss, we go together. Okay. I'm okay. that girl. All right. Well, that, there you have it. It is Kiana Dancing. Shout out your Instagram and social media again. Yo, y'all can find me on all things, everything social. I'm talking about Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm the same thing because there's only one me, Kiana Dancing. K-I-A-N-A-D-A-N-C-I-E. Make sure you follow me. Check me out Monday through Friday on Sister Circle Live. And if you cannot spell that, that is your mama's fault. But please go to Sister Circle Live. We come on Monday through Friday on TV One at noon. So check us out. Holla. Peace. Candid Kisses TV is sponsored by Kissable Lips Cosmetics. Kissable Lips Cosmetics First Impressions Collection. A beautiful lip gloss quad with four gorgeous corresponding eyeshadows. Whether you're headed to work, preparing for a night out with the girls, or date night with the love of your life, the First Impressions Collection will get the job done. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Why not make yours kissable? Shop KissableLipsCosmetics.com today. You can't be kissed without kissable lips.